the families are suffering na kuna watu wamejifanya kama wanyama na so that wengine wenye wanafikiria wanaweza huwa tu mtu na waendelee ku walk bila anything we must make examples ya wale wenye wamefanya maneno mbaya Welcome to Efax number 1 stop to entertainment and trending news. Governor Kihika spoke very strongly about the passing of Jeff Mwathi. While in Nakuru, she did put out that people cannot be taking the lives of people's children and thinking that they will be walking scot free. This was in regards to Jeff Mwathi's passing and the people who will be found guilty will serve as an example to others so that such incidents do not happen again. Let's listen to what she had to say Katis. Make sure tumepata justice kwa hiyo mtoto. Na mwenye walimfanyia vitu mbaya kama wa, wa, wako after the investigation, they must face justice. Hakuna two ways about it. Si ndio hiyo? We must be a country ya um, yani maneno imefika imekuwa mbaya sana. It is terrible. Na tuendelee kuombea watoto wetu. Si ndio? Kwa sababu kuna shida na families are suffering na kuna watu wamejifanya kama wanyama. Na so that wengine wenye wanafikiria wanaweza huwa tu mtu na waendelee ku walk bila anything we must make examples ya wale wenye wamefanya maneno mbaya so that mwingine kabla afanye chochote kwanza afikirie mara mbili mara tatu si ndio hiyo e kabisa and you've had it from Nakuru governor that an example will be made out of the people who take the lives of others as you all know a second postmortem was conducted on the body of 23 year old interior designer Jeff Marthy and it was established that he died due to severe head and limb injuries even as the pathologist indicated that it will take longer to know if he was sexually molested the exam conducted by chief government pathologist Johansen Odor established that Marthy had severe head injuries he also had fractures on the upper and lower limbs as well as on his neck Dr. Dwar stated we have taken more samples to carry out a toxicology test and also to establish if he was sexually molested before he met his death. He also did put out that it will take at least three months. Although the postmortem did not conclusively determine what caused his death, Dr. Dwar said he died largely because of the severe injuries he suffered. Jeff Murthy had severe head injuries that almost ruptured the skull. Jeff Murthy's postmortem was witnessed by family members. We're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell so you're notified once you have any new uploads i'll see you on the next one bye bye